everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. Today we're talking about homestead exemption. We're producing this video towards the end of 2017, and it's very important for people to understand. You know, I met with a realtor the other night, and he was talking about listing his property for sale this month. And I said, well, did you ever think about the idea of trying to get a buyer before the end of the year? He says, well, I just don't know that there's a benefit to that. And I said, there is. Make sure you add in the MLS, get this home closed by the end of the year. So this way that buyer is now eligible for homestead exemption. What is homestead exemption? It basically means your house is your castle where you live. Nobody can ever touch it except for that mortgage that you take out or the IRS should you decide not to pay your taxes. But it's very important to understand, Homestead has many different uh, sides here in the state of Florida. So the first one we talk about is that O.J. Simpson law, where your home is your castle, nobody can touch it. If you were to get sued, if you were uh, to do anything negative that would affect your credit, judgments, any type of creditors, nobody is entitled to touch the home you live in. That is your homesteaded property. So if you have your utility bills there, you live in the property, you file a tax return with that address, that is your homestead property, which means that as long as you pay your mortgage payment and as long as you pay your IRS taxes, your income taxes at the end of the year, and if you live in a homeowners association and you pay your HOA dues, nobody can touch your property. Great? Awesome but you need to live in the property before the close of the year. So it's very important for all of you buyers and all of you realtors out there, if you're gonna live into, in that property or you're representing a client that's gonna live in a property, get them closed by December 31st. And I think December 31st is actually a Sunday, so you wanna do it uh, just that Friday before to make sure that you're in the property before the end of the year so you're eligible to file for homestead. Now let's fast forward to the other side, the tax portion of homestead exemption. What is the benefit? Well, first, by living in the property and, and claiming it as your homestead, you get a huge discount in taxes. There's a $50,000 homestead exemption that comes off the assessed value of your property. And then when your taxes are calculated, your new tax bill will be at a significantly reduced rate. So it's very important to make sure you're filing your homestead. Another quick story, we were at our sailing club couple of months ago and there was someone there that was talking about their home and their taxes and I said do you live in your house do you have homestead exemption and he didn't even know that homestead exemption existed and he's lived in his property for two or three years so shame on the person that sold him that property to not let him know but it's very important to make sure you file your homestead exemption you get a significant reduction in your tax bill every single year by filing for your taxes the second thing it gives you is it gives the county, there's one opportunity for that county to reassess the property when you've purchased it, they'll reassess it in that upcoming tax year. That is the one opportunity for them to reassess it and then you are protected by a cap. There's a 3% cap on your tax increase, your, your um, assessed value of your property can only go up so, so much per year. So if the property values skyrocket, if it's your homestead, you're only going to be increased uh, a certain percentage every single year. Again, another, another very good important tip when we're talking about taxes. And the last thing I wanna talk about is all of the additional exemptions. If you go to your local property appraiser's website, you can see all of the additional uh, benefits you get, all of the additional tax benefits you get on your tax bill. There's widow exemption, there's military exemption, there's if you've been injured at war and you come back, I believe there's no exemption. There's a number of different exemptions that are on there that if you're eligible to file for it, if you're disabled is another one, um, you know, so you can actually go there, you can look at the different exemptions, and if you qualify, you just simply call them, you'll send in some documentation, and then you'll get that exemption every single year. Now, one thing people always ask is, does Homestead, does it automatically renew? It absolutely does. As long as you live in that property, you file for your Homestead exemption, it will be automatically renewed each year. And a little tip, don't mess with the county. If you do not live in the property, do not file Homestead on it, because they will find out and they will assess you with penalties and fines for doing so. They are very smart to know if someone is living in that property or not. 
So I hope you learned something new about taxes and about homestead exemption. Make sure you get that deal closed before the end of the year. If you're gonna be a buyer that's gonna live in a property, it's very, very important to get that homestead exemption before the end of the year. Just visit your local property appraiser's website. There's an online application with most of them. You just file it, it's very, very simple. You just prove your residency on that property and you will get the exemption on the next tax bill. Got it? Great. Don't forget to subscribe below. Leave us a comment. Thumbs up is very, very important. We need everyone to leave a thumbs up. So if you've watched this video, give us a thumbs up so we make sure that other people are able to see this video and get some added value when it comes to talking about property taxes and homestead exemption on Florida real estate. So as always, thanks for watching. My name's Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, and I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.